Hey everybody, and welcome to Music Saving Musicians Interesting Instrumentals. We're so glad you've joined us. We are a live stream concert series uh, that streams every single week. Wednesday at 7 p.m. featuring professional musicians who have lost gigs uh, from the COVID-19 pandemic. We're so glad you joined us. Thank you so much for being here. Um, this week we are very fortunate to have an incredible lineup. I'm very excited. Um, a very talented instrumentalist. Uh, we've got um, Adam, Evan Levine, Kelsey Philbrick, Laura Blankenship, Henry Eichmann, uh, we've got uh, Lila Crossway, Josh Scalf, and a very, very special guest who is very near and dear to my heart, Hope McCorkle, who is my six-year-old niece who's going to show us all a wonderful recipe we can use um, to make a great healthy snack during quarantine that's easy but also very healthy. Very excited about that. So, let's get to some music, shall we? Our first guest is a Nashville-based freelancer and educator, uh, percussionist, dancer and educator, uh, percussionist, uh, who studied percussion performance at Belmont University. She also went to Northwestern University, got her master's there, She's extremely talented, one of my good friends, Christine Comer. Hi, my name is Christine Comer. I'm a percussionist and I live in Nashville, Tennessee. Tonight I'll be playing the jig from box C major cello suite, as well as an arrangement to so sweet to trust in Jesus.
Thank you very much for watching, and, and I hope that during this time of, of stress and uncertainty, we all can trust in Jesus and uh, cling to the rock, which is higher than we are when we are overwhelmed. I hope that your evening has been blessed by this music. Thanks for your support. Thank you so much, Christine. That was beautiful. I love how you picked uh, my favorite instrument, the marimba. Also, those arrangements were incredible. Um, so very well done. Can we have some virtual clapping going on for Christine? That was awesome. Great way to warm us up for this week's concert. We are music saving musicians and we are raising money for professional musicians who have lost uh, income uh, due to the COVID-19 pandemic because crowds are now illegal. Um, it would mean so much uh, if you would be so willing to donate tonight. Um, this week, you can actually donate right on Facebook. We have a link in the description, um, so you don't have to go far. Um, we also have Venmo, Cash App, or PayPal all available if you would prefer those methods. Um, and what happens is uh, for everything that's donated, uh, it goes to my account and then I take everything that has come in and then I distribute it evenly between all performers. So everyone gets an even split and uh, hopefully we you know, can buy some groceries this week or next week. So um, we have many, many other talented performers coming up, including Kelsey Philbrick, Laura Blankenship, Henry Eichmann, Lila Crosswhite, Josh Scalf, and the very special guest, Hope McCorkle, my six-year-old niece, who will be showing us a wonderful recipe for us musicians and friends of musicians who could use a simple recipe to help us survive during this time of quarantine. But first, we have Evan Levine, who is an incredibly talented musician based uh, out of Chicago, and he's a good friend of our marketing director, Lauren Cassidy. Evan, take it away. Hello, everyone. Thank you for tuning in to tonight's concert of Music Saving Musicians. This is some interesting instrumentals that we got here. And my name is Evan Salvation Levine, and I'll be playing this interest interesting instrument double bass and I'll be playing some original compositions for you on this and then also the electric bass that I have back here um, so I am currently a bass player and composer that's based in Chicago Illinois I grew up in New Jersey and did my college degree at Oberlin Conservatory and my master's degree at the University of Michigan and um, yeah I just wanted to talk a little bit about you know, since the pandemic has been going on, that most of the work that I've had is doing, you know, corporate gigs, wedding parties and whatnot. And those have all sort of dried up since this whole thing has started. So I just wanted to thank Music Saving Musicians for giving me an opportunity to share some art that I've been creating. And uh, I hope that you all enjoy. This first tune is a piece that I've written entitled Patinos. It's heavily inspired by northern Brazilian grooves. I hope you enjoy.
that one was entitled Patinos. Thanks again for listening. My name is Evan Salvacion Levine. I'm going to switch to the electric bass real quick, so just stick with me for a minute. Thanks to Ben and Lauren at Music Saving Musicians for creating this really, really cool concert series and making sure that everybody's staying safe at home. And uh, yeah, so this last song is one that I wrote that's entitled Molly. And uh, yeah, if you feel the desire to help support musicians like me and like everybody else that's playing tonight, please feel free to donate to Music Saving Musicians. And thank you very much.
thank you very much and enjoy the rest of your night. Thank you, Evan. That was awesome. Wasn't that amazing? That was so good. Yes. So good. We, uh, can you send some virtual like shred or bass licks his way? Maybe, maybe shower with some wows. That'd be pretty cool, right? Yeah. I like the wow. Anyway, um, thank you very much. Um, we've already gotten uh, some donations in, which is exciting. So um, exciting. Huge thank you to Lauren, Taylor, and Felicia. Many blessings your way. Thank you so much for helping us get our groceries this week. Thank you very much. <laughs> yes, your support means a lot. And we know that this is a difficult time for a lot of people. So if you aren't able to contribute um, financially, we're still so glad you're here. Your likes, your shares, just watching uh, helps our views. Um, so uh, we appreciate you regardless of what you're able to do. Um, and if you can't donate, maybe you would consider um, sharing this post with a friend or texting somebody that would just mm -hmm. be uh, so awesome. And coming up, we have some awesome musicians, don't we? Yes, we do. They are two of my very best friends, Kelsey Philbrick and Laura Blankenship. Now we are uh, former classmates together from undergrad at UNCG. Um, Kelsey is, they both live in Greensboro now. Kelsey plays in symphonies across North Carolina and Tennessee and Virginia. She is the assistant concert master of the Western Piedmont Symphony in Hickory, North Carolina and teaches private lessons and is an adjunct violin professor at App State or Appalachian State University. Uh, Laura also gigs around Greensboro. They are phenomenal violinists and I hope you enjoy these Bartok duets. <laughs> Hi, thank you for watching today. My name is Kelsey Philbrick and I will be playing some duets with my friend Laura Blankenship. We'll be playing three duets written by Bela Bartok in 1931. Bartok wrote these duets for two purposes. One, to transcribe Hungarian and other Eastern European folk music, and two, to write something appropriate for students to play. Of the 44 duets, we'll be playing number 13 called Wedding Song, number 35 called Ruthenian Kolomeja, and number 36 called The Bagpipe. 35 and 36 are actually Bartok's original compositions, but he wrote them in the style of folk tunes. We hope you enjoy.
you enjoyed these pieces. Thank you for watching. Bye. Wow. Kelsey and Laura, that was amazing. Thank you so much. That was brilliant and beautiful. Um, we've got some more donations coming in, so that's awesome. I want to say a special thank you to Ellen. Thank you so much for your contribution. That means so much. Um, and we're so glad you're here. Um, regardless of whether you're in a financial situation to donate, we just appreciate your attendance, your likes, your shares, your comments. All of that does wonders for helping us uh, have a successful event. So thank you so much for sharing and participating and engaging with our event. We do have a $1,000 goal that you can pay through our Facebook page. You can pay through uh, Venmo, Cash App. Uh, we also have a GoFundMe and all the money that comes in will go to me and then I will then split it up evenly between, between all the performers tonight um, and hopefully we will have a decent um, check to pay for some groceries or maybe you know um, get us some popcorn to finish watching Tiger King if you haven't finished yet all good things next up I'm very very excited for this next guest we have it is someone very special and near and dear to my heart It is my six-year-old niece Hope McCorkle, um, who is sharing with us, but mainly people like me who don't know how to cook, um, a healthy meal uh, that is simple, but also uh, quick and um, easy to make uh, that is really great for time of quarantine. So Hope, take it away. Hi, children. <laughs> Everybody, my name is Hope, and we're gonna be making banana muffins. If you're feeling good or feeling great, give me a thumbs up. I'm gonna be telling you the ingredients for the banana muffins. Baking soda, salt, cinnamon, vanilla, syrup, chocolate chips, peanut butter, eggs, and mashed up bananas. And we're mixing. It kind of looks like some hairs. The best thing about this is because it's grain free, which means it includes no flour because if you can't find flour at the store, you can still make these muffins. We filled in 12 muffin tins and we're gonna pop them into the oven for 20, 25 minutes at 350. They just came out of the oven. We cooked them for 20 minutes. Um, they look and smell delicious. Um, and um, we'll let them cool. Hi, they're ready to taste them. I will taste, tell you what they taste like. Hmm. It's good. Fluffy. Um, soft. Um. I taste not too much peanut butter, but um, some chocolate chips and a little bit of honey. Yeah. Love ya. Bye. If you have any questions, text us. Wow, Hope. That was amazing. That was so adorable, so amazing. We made some. We just popped them in the oven, too. They smell wonderful. And they taste wonderful, too. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, right there. That doesn't lie. They're very mm -hmm. good. Um, so make sure you give her all the love, all the likes and gifts. Yes, make sure you give her a thumbs up. She asked for a thumbs up. You better yes. give her a thumbs up. Give her a thumbs up. Yes. <laughs> no, seriously, these are so good. I know, they're all really good. I had some upstairs. Mm -hmm. uh, so you can find this recipe uh, by clicking on a link in, that's pinned in the comments right now. It'll take you to a little MailChimp page where you will enter your email. And if you want your birthday so we can send you a little surprise on your birthday by Ben <laughs> and um, you will get this recipe you'll get last week's margarita recipes and just some other freebies we like to keep people updated with our goings on so yes yeah, so yeah. we'll 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 give it to you um, if you just follow that link mm -hmm. we want to you know also help you guys out for helping us out um, we're very grateful mm -hmm. And I am just loving these muffins. Yes, I the wanna... top layer is gone. <laughs> <laughs> well, the second layer will, will be, would have been gone too if I didn't have to speak. <laughs> anyway, um, 
Yeah, so that would be awesome. If you want to um, get this awesome recipe that Hope shared, mm -hmm. um, follow the follow, link. Follow the link. That's all you got to do. Yeah. Okay. So thank you, Tina. That You're was welcome. amazing. Yes. Our next guest, someone who I'm extremely excited about. But before I get to him, I also want to mention that we have Lila Crossway coming mm -hmm. up. We have Josh Scalf coming up. Um, Lila's going to do some music from Lord of the Rings. Josh is going to do some Lizzo um, from 19 trombone tracks, which That's is pretty really, epic. really amazing. <laughs> so make sure you hold on. But before that, we have something I think equally as cool. Uh, one of my best friends, Henry Eichmann, who came uh, recently in second place in the modern snare drum competition, international wow. competition, uh, playing some snare drum for you by his a piece written by his teacher. Um, really, really awesome. Uh, I can't say enough good about Henry as a person. Uh, phenomenal musician, just got his doctorate. He's a grad, uh, I think, or very close to it. I think <laughs> he did. Anyway, um, semester's over. I yeah, think, yeah, we love you, Henry, and uh, let's uh, let's see what you got. Hi everyone, my name is Henry Eichmann. I am a doctoral percussion student at Michigan State University, and this evening I am recording for you from my basement in Durand, Michigan. Um, so the piece I'm going to be playing for you today is called Swerve by one of my former teachers, Gene Kaczynski. Um, this piece is really cool for a bunch of different reasons. Number one, it's really groovy and catchy, um, so it's just really, really fun to play for that reason. Um, but number two, it just uses a bunch of really wacky sounds that you wouldn't normally hear on this instrument, the snare drum, uh, which I'm sure you've seen in some context before. Um, it's a very familiar instrument, but I'm going to be playing it in a totally unfamiliar way. Um, so some of the ways I'll be doing that is through, uh, first of all, this use of this doorstop spring attached to the back of a drumstick. If you've ever messed around with that on your wall or something, you know it makes that sound. Um, if you put it on the stick and then place it on the drum like this, the vibrations will go through the stick and the drum and actually amplifying that sound. So it sounds like this. So it sounds pretty cool. It's used a bunch uh, throughout the piece like that. Um, another way you can use it is um, when you're using a regular drumstick, you know, you can get the different rebounds like that. Um, it's also used in that same way. So it's really cool. It feels really weird, but uh, it sounds cool. Um, and it's used in a couple different ways too, but I won't give them all away. Uh, and so that's accompanied by the use of this uh, ordinary knitting needle also. So just like you can get the buzz out of this sound, uh, you can get a buzz out of the knitting needle by holding it down on the drum like this and pulling up on it. And it gets a really cool buzzy sound. Uh, and it's also used throughout the piece just as like another drumstick uh, for, for most of the piece really. So you'll see that in action in a sec. Um, so that swerve, uh, I hope you enjoy, and I'll talk to you after.
All right, that was Swerve. Thanks again so much to Ben for having me, uh, inviting me to play on this concert. Um, again, as it's been said many times, uh, if you're able to, please donate to Music Saving Musicians. This cause is so great. Obviously, so many musicians rely on performing, go figure, to make their living. So this is such a good cause. Um, if you're able and have the means, please donate to support all musicians um, that have lost so much money, and you'd be doing such a great thing. Thanks again, Ben, for having me. This has been great. And... Everybody have a good night. That was Nails, Henry. Great work. Um, thank you so much for joining us. It was a pleasure and an honor to have you. That was so cool. Swerve by Gene Kaczynski. How about some virtual percussion for Henry? I think that's how you play percussion. Like this. Maybe. Maybe not. Oh, so... We are here, Music Saving Musicians, after that wonderful per performance that just warms my heart. Nothing like epic snare drum with a door stop. Um, and a special thank you to our latest contributors, Tess, Nick, Vincent, Catherine. Wow, thank you so much for your donations, for your support. Um, it means so much. Uh, to everyone at Music Saving Musicians. Um, and if you would like to consider donating to our $1,000 goal, haven't hit it yet, but we would love to. Um, and if you do, all of these musicians will be able to buy some much needed toothpaste. All right, we need to get these guys toothpaste. There's a reason why they're all quarantined aside from COVID-19. Well, maybe not. Anyway, we have the Facebook donation up, which I see some people have had. And coming up, we have Josh Scalf, um, who is a swagalicious trombone player covering some Lizzo with 19 trombone tracks and some backing drums by somebody who you may recognize. Um, but before that, we have uh, a new guest to the Music Saving Musician stage, Lila Crosswhite, who is a violinist and a violist and arranger who recently moved to Nashville from LA. Um, and what she has said is that she's had so much fun meeting and playing with talented musicians here in Nashville and is so excited to be part of tonight's show. Well, Lila, we are excited to have you. Um, we're so grateful. Why don't you take it away? Hey y'all, Layla Crosswhite here. As Ben may have already mentioned, I am a violist, violinist, and arranger who recently moved here, uh, specifically about 10 months ago. And I have thoroughly enjoyed getting to know Nashville's community of musicians. They really are a talented and friendly bunch of people. Like many of the musicians on tonight's program, I too have lost a lot of my work due to COVID-19, and it has been rough. Not only financially, but not being able to gather together with other musicians and just make music together. So what I've been doing is I have been partaking in a bunch of remote collabs with all my friends, one of which I will recreate for you tonight. I'm sure many of you will know this tune. It is In Dreams from Lord of the Rings, and it pervades all the movies. My friend and I collaborated on this about a few weeks ago, and we got so much feedback from people saying how it brought them peace and serenity during these tough times. So I have redone that for you tonight in hopes it will bring you a similar sense of peace. So without further ado, here's In Dreams from Lord of the Rings. Enjoy.
hope you all enjoyed that rendition of In Dreams from Lord of the Rings. If you are able, please donate to Music Saving Musicians. It would be so much appreciated and it's because of your support that we were able to do what we do. Thanks again for tuning in and I hope you all have a good rest of your evening. Lila, that was amazing. <clears throat> Thank you. And may the Shire be with you. We are Music Saving Musicians. Um, and thank you so much to everyone who's donating. We are so, so, so grateful for you. Thank you for your shares, for your likes. Um, <clears throat> we're trying to raise $1,000 tonight so some musicians can buy some toothpaste and groceries and uh, maybe some music equipment, whatever um, comes in is going to be split evenly between all performers. So we greatly, greatly appreciate your support. Now, we have our final act of the evening, our closer, Mr. Josh Scalf, who is a incredible musician um, who has made beautiful music out of 19 trombones. I don't know how he did it. And he uh, asked me to play along. I'm very excited. Um, I know Josh from gigging in Nashville, and he's known for his professionalism and ex excellent skill. Um, very talented session musician. We were going to do a musical this spring, but it got canceled, um, like every other gig. Um, and so I'm so grateful that we got to collaborate uh, both in, in Music Saving Musicians, but also in this video. So um, I won't say anything more. I'll let him take it away. Josh, let's hear it. I've lost count of how many days we've been in quarantine. I'm going crazy. I've got to find some way to be productive. Well, at least as productive as a trombone player can be. I've got all these trombones. I like trombones. Maybe other people would like to hear them too. What about jazz? I like jazz. Yeah, let's give jazz a try. Hey, babe? Yeah? Could we do something different now? Okay. Thanks. Hmm, that didn't work. Maybe classical music? Hey, babe? Yeah? yeah? Um, do you know any songs that I know or like, even? Yeah, okay. Geez, what does she like? What do any normal people without trombones like? Oh yeah, I love this song. Alexa, volume seven. So yeah, that's pretty much how I came up with the idea to do this song. At the Scalf House, we definitely dig Lizzo. So if you don't know her, you should go check her out. And Ben, thanks so much for having me be a part of your series. I wasn't sure anybody wanted to hear a trombone player. I'm not sure they want to hear 30, but they're going to.
Wow, Josh, that was so cool and so fun to play along with. Thank you for the cinematography. That was brilliant, wonderful story, and obviously wonderful playing. Can we spread some love for Josh? Can we have some love reactions for Josh? Um, and how about all the performers tonight? They all did so well. We're so grateful for them and the amazing talents um, that they have spent hours and hours and hours and years honing in and practicing. And they, thank you very much to Hope. I wish I could say that we um, kind of took some of these away, but the second row did get eaten. Um, the quarantine 15, I think, is a real thing, especially with these. So if you want this, there's a link available. Um, we would also love it if you are in a, a financial position to give, to donate toward our $1,000 goal. Um, all the musicians would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Um, and for those who are unable to donate tonight, your love, your likes, your shares, your comments, all of that is so greatly appreciated. So thank you so much for joining us. Um, and as a reminder, we do this every Wednesday uh, at 7 p.m. Central and 8 o'clock Eastern. Next week, we are shifting gears a little bit, and we're going to focus on educators, music educators, as well as the education system. Um, and one of the greatest, in my opinion, the greatest uh, education curriculum in the world, Quaver Ed. We're going to have some people from uh, that company perform for us and we're going to be raising money for a local nonprofit organization uh, that helps take underprivileged youth and give them uh, string, uh, string teacher uh, training and lessons and it's, it's a wonderful, wonderful organization. Don't want to give too much of it away right away, but please join us for next Wednesday at 7 p.m. Until then, you stay classy, planet Earth.